Today I'll be breaking out Jason Tatum's top three moves. Alright, so before you can learn Jason Tatum's top moves, you're first going to have to master the fadeaway. A good practice that you can do is just stand right outside the paint and uh, just practice the fadeaway with your dominant foot being raised up. So if you're a right, if you're a righty, then your right foot's going to be raised up, and if you're a lefty, then your left foot's going to be raised up. So the first move I'll be breaking down is Jason Tatum's post fadeaway. Tatum on a step back. Tough. So what Jason Tatum likes to do is he likes to first start off with his back to, to his opponent. And then he take a few dribbles to just post him down. And what he likes to do is he likes to come up with one knee, kind of like Dirk or uh, Kevin Durant. So he'd come up with one knee to create the separation between his defender. And he'd pull up a shot from there. So the second move Jason Tatum does is a switch crossover. Sometimes guys like that really slide through the cracks. So after Tatum beats his defender, uh, probably the defense in the middle is going to collapse on him. So the center and the forward, maybe on the side, would come to try to stop you from getting an easy right-handed lay. So what Tatum does is after he beats his defender, he'll run. And before he takes his two steps and just like goes inside for a lay, he'll He'll throw the ball into his left hand. So say he's just running. Before it's just he'll throw it to his left hand. So it's kind of like a crossover to the left side. So the last move I'll be breaking down is Jason Tatum's push off. The game. Zisich with the dribble hand off to Tatum. Jason Tatum firing over Con So a lot of players do this as well, but when Jason Tatum goes inside, instead of just stepping back, he'll also push the defender off and step back, so it creates even more space than what he would have gotten. And also just, uh, it'd be considered an offensive foul if you elbow them, or if you just like shove them away. It's more of just using your forearm to just kind of like push them off a little bit. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.